YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Today, as y'all can see, we have the Creighton 8S sitting on the table. You wondering why the Creighton 8S is sitting on the table? Well, I'm going to tell you why the Creighton 8S is sitting on the table. Because the Creighton 8S is about to get an upgrade to the motor and the ESC. So, this video is going to show you how we are going to do the upgrades on the motor and ESC. So this will be part one of the video because we're going to show you how to take everything apart and put it back in. Um, putting it back in will be in, in the video of part two. We also will be upgrading the tires on the Creighton Edis. And we will be doing the Door Tracks uh, Hatchet X tires for this one. So let's just go ahead, quit all the small talking, and let's jump into this video. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to start by taking off the side right here so we can get to the motor. So let's get that started. Flip this one around for you guys so you all can see this. Let's make sure we are in focus, which I think we are. see this from beginning to start so any bloopers or anything like that will be in this video so you might find something funny in this video and you might not look at that I got a screw that's loose I didn't even know that so it's a good thing I'm doing this now got those screws loose so you also have to take the battery tray screws loose so this piece can slide right on out. Hope this video can reach a couple of people and help them out in case they want to do an upgrade on their crazy 8S. You know, you watch videos, they don't show you all this. They show you the process of just putting the motor in. Okay, so after you get your screws out, your battery tray screws, all you do is slide it up and then just pull it right on out. Just another screw for where holding it. So you have one more battery tray screw that's holding it in, and that will be the screw right here. So you're going to loosen this screw right here, and as you can see, this is starting to move. Go ahead and take off this motor mount so we can get this motor out. So, as you guys can see, I am using a Traxxas tool, which 
ain't gonna say nothing bad about it. Hold on one second. Okay, we back. I had to switch up the tool because for some reason, Trax's tool wasn't working right. So, oh, make sure you also take off the casing for the gear. Take that off first before you try to take these screws off. So take off the casing right here. Two screws, two screws. Trying to make the video go as fast as possible. I'm not doing no fast forward, I'm not doing no editing. I want, I want y'all to see how this done, how this is done correctly. So make sure you keep your screws with your parts. So you won't lose them. So I keep my screws in here. Keep my screws in here. Now you can continue to unloosen the motor mount. Two screws on the motor mount. Be careful with these two screws on the motor mount because they use a lot of Loctite on these screws and you will strip them, which I deal with this screw. So I have to use my uh, speed out to get this screw out. So I'll be right back with you with the speed out. Okay, so I'm back with my speed out. Let's take this, this screw out of here. take that motor out we have a screw up under here that needs to come out so let's go right on ahead and get that screw up out of here so we can begin to move this motor as soon as I get my bit out so I loosen the screw bang That's in the little groove up under the, the chassis. It's a screw that come off of that, which is right here. Bam. Set that to the side. Oh, that screw rusty. Turn it back over. Got to be turning where it is at right now. Get those open in. Slide right on out. That screw. Unplug it from the ESC. Okay. And another one. Slide him right on out. And guys, we have the motor out. So I'm gonna go ahead. So I can keep it with my screws. I'll go ahead and set them in this little tray right here. So I won't lose my screws. Those in there. And let's begin to take off this ESC. So let's go ahead this over some so y'all can see this ESC get this ESC out of here let's turn it around for you guys get you a better look at this ESC which is right here so let's get that out Also, we'll be changing the control on this. We're gonna uh, go with a fly sky controller. So, that's coming out of here too.
hard button unhooked. Got three more screws for the ESC. ESC will be coming out here after that. After we unhook the wires, when the screws fell down next to the battery tray, all you gotta do is turn it over and get it off. It's no big one. Guys, like I said, we have to take off the cover so we can get in there and disconnect the ESC. I'm not gonna bore y'all with this video this long. I'm gonna fast forward it, don't worry about it. Psych, y'all gonna stay here and watch this. You wanna learn the right way? You gonna have to watch the video. You don't need to learn from watching the video. You don't wanna skip nothing, because if you skip something, you might miss something, right? You gotta go back and rewind and try to find it. Nah, we ain't doing that to you guys today. I'm gonna show y'all the right way. I'm gonna teach it. Even though I might be doing it the wrong way. You might do something better than what I did. Right now, I'm gonna do this this way. So, you guys, all of this is coming out. So we're gonna unplug this. The throttle. And these stands coming out of here. Okay. So there's the ESC. It's out of there. ESC is out of there. And then we are going to take Uh, you know what? I think we're going to keep the spectrum control in there. We're going to keep him in there. So we got the ESC out of there. Wow, I'm surprised this is not mounted down in there. It's just moving around. That's not good. So, I'm done with those steps. On to the next. Now, for the final part, which is the easiest part, will be, <laughs> you guessed it, you guessed it, you guessed it, you guessed it, you guessed right. Final part is taking off these tires. So we're gonna go on here and take off these tires. Because all we're doing is a prep right now. Prepping everything to get prepared for the new wear. Tires off. Get these tires off of you guys so we can get in this video so we can go ahead and get prepared for the upcoming video of the upgrades. Let's get these tires out of here right quick so you guys can go ahead and get back to what y'all was doing before I disturb y'all. Tires off. Bam. One more. Bam. Tires off, guys. So now we are ready. 
ready to start our build of the Creighton 8S upgrade. So tune in for the next video, which will be really soon, where I go ahead and install the motor, motor mount. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna change that spectrum controller out to the fly sky, I believe I am. I'm not for sure at the moment, but I probably will. And uh, yeah, see you guys on the next video. Until then, Icon, this Icon RCs. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Please uh, like, share, subscribe, dislike, but please, whatever you do, please share the video. Please show your support, and I'll see y'all in the next one. RC Love, peace. I'm out of here.